Hello, good day once again. It's Arvin Alonso teaching you basics of IT application tools. I have a question. Did you ever use a typewriter? If so, if you commit mistake in typing using a typewriter, what do you do? Isn't it that you either use a snowpake or you start all over again? How about if you would like to modify what you have typed in a typewriter? Isn't it that you're going to create a new one? In most of the software application that we use nowadays, we don't need to worry about those things because we have the editing commands that will help us edit the content of our document. So today, I'm going to demonstrate with you or to you the different editing commands of Microsoft Word. So we have here the home tab in which you have the clipboard group and the editing group. Okay. I'm going to discuss with you selecting text. You are familiar with the cut, copy, and paste. You, I'm I will demonstrate the use of clipboard and using the find, replace, go to command, undo, redo, and repeat. I believe you are familiar with some of these commands, especially the cut, copy, and paste. So, first things first. In order for us to cut or copy, we need to select the text that we would like to cut or copy or even to format. So, selecting text is very important. Let me just show you some of the shortcut keys that we can use. Control A for select all and so on and so forth. And if you don't like these shortcut keys, you can click and drag text to highlight. Okay. If there's one word that you would like to select, double click on that word. Or if you would like to select one line, double click at the edge. This is actually the whole paragraph of it. Okay. So those are ways to select text using your mouse and using some of the keyboard shortcuts. Now, you are familiar with cut, copy, and paste. I believe so. So, for example, when you select this one, you can cut it. What's the shortcut key? Control X. When you cut, the original text will be removed. I will undo it. Control Y, or Control Z, I should say, to undo. When you copy, the original text will remain and you can paste in the other part of your document or in another document even. Okay, let's cut, copy, and paste. But let me show you the power or the purpose of the clipboard. So I have here the dialog box launcher of the clipboard. By the way, whenever you see this small object in every group, it means that there is a dialog box that we can work with. So when I click this one, the clipboard pane will appear here. What's the purpose of the clipboard pane? Say, for example, you, we already have selecting text as the copied text a while ago. You can highlight this one, control C, then it will be added to the clipboard pane. You would like to copy this one, again, it will be added to the clipboard pane. What happens if there are list of copied text in the clipboard pane? You can just click what you want to paste. Anytime you want to do so. That's the purpose of the clipboard 
pane. So I will deactivate the clipboard pane. There you go. So take note of the clipboard. A clipboard is a temporary storage of whatever you cut or copy in your document or even in the other parts of the application or windows. Now we've got to find replace and go to command. So what's the purpose of find? If you want to find certain text in your document. Okay. So the shortcut key is control F. So for example, I would like to find the word command. You notice that as I have typed, the first command text or word will appear. But here, it shows that there are six results of the searching. Okay? What's the purpose of replace? When you would, the replace is actually when you would like to find a certain text and change it into a new one. Okay? The shortcut key is Control H. Say, for example, find what? Command. And replace with action. Shall I replace? word uh, every word that is being searched or replace all the, the word command in the entire document so when you would like to replace all you simply click the replace all here but take note there are other conditions that you can set here like for example it should match case it should find whole words only so that it will be strictly uh, the, the replacement will be based on these options that you place. Okay? So when I click replace all, all done. We have made two replacements. But take note, a while ago there are six uh, find, there are six commands that has been found in the document. But how come that there are all, only two replacements here? Because we followed the, a certain option, we set a certain option, the match case, and the find whole words only. Perhaps the other commands have the uh, letter S at the end of the word command. Now, let me demonstrate to you the go-to. Here, I have 51 pages. This is very good to demonstrate the go-to command. The shortcut key is Control G. Here you can go to a certain page, a certain section of your document, a certain line, bookmark, comment, footnote if there are, fields, tables if there are created tables, equations, and others. Okay. So for example, go to what page? Page 20 and click go to here. Automatically, it will bring you to the to page 20 of your document okay so i'll bring back to the first page uh, let's try another one for the go to command control g this time i will use bookmark i have four bookmarks here bookmarks for topic 1 2 3 and 4 and i named them topic 1 2 3 and 4 Say, for example, I would like to go immediately to topic 3. I'll just click this one. Click go to. And then, here you go. We have the topic 3 on our screen right now. So, that's the use of the go to command. We have the undo, redo, and re repeat. Take note, you can undo when you have done something say for example i will highlight selecting text i applied a formatting command bold i will undo the shortcut key of undo is control z so notice the formatting command applied has been undone okay 
what is for redo you notice my cursor is in the copy i press control y the formatting command was applied okay let's redo you are performing the last command that you have done and what is repeat i believe you are not familiar with the repeat you can use a repeat command if there was no command that has been undone for example i will type here welcome what with what did i type the word welcome when i Press Control Y, which is supposed to be for a do command. It will repeat what I have typed. That's the repeat. Redo and repeat. Redo is available when you have done something or even undone something. Repeat is active when you did not perform any commands yet. Okay, so that's find, replace, go to, undo, redo, and repeat command. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new in my presentation.